It's Monday Night Football, and the Patriots are taking on the Buffalo Bills. These are the two sort of premier teams in the AFC East. Well, you can count in the Jets as well. But we're talking Patriots and Bills in this one. Week 8 of the NFL season. A way to close it out here. Here's Devin Singletary making one man miss. Almost made another man miss, but then he gets shoved out of bounds after a big gain right there. So now Josh Allen steps back in the pocket, has a little bit of pressure, still able to get the ball away. And that's right at the 20, third and two. Here's Allen again, gonna get hit as he throws. I'm not sure how he threw that football. He gets hit in the ball. I don't know what that was. But a fourth and two here for the Patriots. And right away, gonna find Paris Campbell. Gonna end up converting there on fourth and two. Would have been a big stop for the Bills defense. Now second and one, Antonio Gibson. Devontae Adams looking at his runner instead of blocking. That's not ideal. Still a first down. Now second and seven. Lance, quick throw to Kadarius Toney. Going to pick up the first down right there. Bills fans can't believe it. Here's another handoff here to Antonio Gibson. Looks like he got warped, sucked into a tackle right there. So now a second and two. Another handoff here to Tata Farrell. He's not able to push his way forward. So they come right back again. First and goal. Another handoff. And Terrell Edmonds sort of shoved Pharrell into the end zone right there. Looks like Matt Milano had him sort of tackled, but then uh, he got hit in the backside, and in he goes for the touchdown. 7-3 Patriots. As Josh Allen going to get sacked right there by D4. Thankfully, he didn't jump off sides that time. And look at this. Just really quick. Allen just never had a chance to get his feet set and do anything on that play just right away D Ford little stunt move cam right into his face third and 17 now Allen gonna throw this one and that's almost picked off by Stefan Gilmore going for Kenny Galladay so now second and 10 quick throw to Kadarius Tony again gonna pick up some nice yardage right there to now third and two Tony again just sort of up the seam right there able to find a really nice hole in these zone defenses right now. Kadarius Tony is just dangerous in that zone look. So now Lance here, rolling to his right, gonna stop, sets his feet, gonna find one Pat Fryermuth right there, and there's another touchdown. First of the day for Fryermuth. And now here they come back again. The Bills play action look right here, gonna find Kenny Galladay. Going to get tripped up by his feet. So now third and two. Allen. Going to find Galladay again. This time it's Jas Uche bringing down Galladay. So now a second and eight. Going to find his man again. Kenny Galladay once again. First and goal. Second and goal now. Allen steps back looking. Has all day. Going to get pressured. Spins. Throws this one to a fan. So now third and goal. Allen looks, turns, gonna find Dawson Knox for the touchdown. Back-to-back -back drives here, ending in touchdowns to the big fellas. So now the Patriots gonna get the ball back here. Trey Lance gonna roll out, gonna find Pat Frymuth. That's clearly a catch. Both feet were in bounds, but the replay officials are stupid, and they're gonna overturn that one. I don't know why. Doesn't matter. Trey Lance comes back again here on the run. Rolling out. Just going to keep this one and run with it. I'm not sure what that receiver was doing. He once again looked back at the guy. He was running. Should have blocked. Could have been more yardage. Either way, Kadarius Tony next play. Picks up some more yardage. They go no huddle again. Trying to get down the field here. Score before half. They get the ball back to start the second half here. Kadarius Tony again. Trying to get out at the sideline. They have to go hurry up one more time. Lance now going to roll out on the run. Throws across his body to Pat Fryermuth. Fryermuth comes down with the football and gets some extra yardage coming down. Gets down to the five. They take a timeout. Second and goal. Quick throw to Pat Fryermuth again. And that is another Patriots touchdown right before the half. That'll make it 21-10. to 10. The Patriots now come back, getting the ball. Start of the second half. Here's Paris Campbell. 
on a slant right there. Looks like they had a defensive end sort of in a zone right there. That was not a very good idea. So here's Lance again, second and five up to Pat Fryermuth. This time doing with some style, mossing Terrell Edmonds. And I just, that was a very questionable call. You've been putting Edmonds on Fryermuth almost all day, has not worked out. And that time it was a disastrous decision by the Bills defense right there as another touchdown on the board. So they try going to Dawson Knox here. He's going to get brought down. Second and seven. Joss Allen just has to throw this one up instead of getting sacked, but that was almost picked off and caught. It was sort of a 50-50 ball. Third and seven now. Allen looking here, and that's just thrown out of bounds. So another punt for the Bills offense. Here is Kadarius Tony again. Another catch for him. First and ten. Hand off to Pharrell. Going to find some nice space here, but going to get brought down by Jordan Poyer. So now the Patriots are going to come back again. First and ten. Hand off here to Pharrell. Some good blocking this time. Gets to the outside. This one has a chance. One man to beat. And Micah Hyde able to get over in enough time to stop Pharrell from taking that one to the house. Now second and goal. Play action. Lance going to roll out here to the right, and he's going to find one Devontae Adams for the score. Touchdown, Patriots. On the run, quick strike. Matt Milano on Devontae Adams. That's not ideal. So 35-10 to 10 now. Here is Allen, and that's going to get picked off. Went for Diggs. Stephon Gilmore picks it off. His third of the season. So Lance comes back a couple plays later, rolling to the right again. Going to throw this one cross body to the left, and it's Pat Fryermuth again coming down with it. His fourth of the game. What a amazing performance from Pat Fryermuth. Now Josh Allen again going to find Dawson Knox here. Looks like that was a all-out blitz, and Dawson Knox was left open. Going to pick up the first down. So now they come back again, third and seven. Allen has all day to throw here. Throws as he's hit, and that's going to get picked off. J.C. Jackson. He's going to try to take this one out of the end zone, but somehow the offensive lineman is quicker than him. I don't know what that's about. That lineman is really fast. So now second and ten. Bills get the ball back after the Patriots punt it away. Allen just sort of throws this one up as he's getting hit, and Stephon Gilmore is going to get the interception again, and that one is going to ice this one. Second interception of the game for Gilmore. Third overall as the Patriots are going to defeat the Bills. 42-10. to 10, Three takeaways. Really balanced attack for the Patriots in this game. And Trey Lance, a phenomenal game. 20 of 25. Five touchdowns. 228 yards. Pharrell had a really nice game. Uh, Antonio Gibson came in for some nice runs. Trey Lance, we really had a chance for a really big Trey Lance run in this game. But, uh, these guys didn't really want to block for me. Pat Fryermuth, crazy game. Eight receptions, 95 yards, four touchdowns. One touchdown from Devontae Adams. Gadarius Tony, seven receptions, 83 yards. Paris Campbell had a nice game. Chris Olave, somewhat quiet today. Uh, just didn't go to him as much. But just because mostly in the scene, um, we had guys open basically the entire game. So that's who we're going to. Uh, the matchups, you know, I think that's the best thing about our team offensively is the matchups can favor us in a lot of different ways. Josh Allen, was a, this was a tough day for him. 16-29, 167 yards, one touchdown, three interceptions. Once again, just sort of the issue with this game of these guys, the AI quarterbacks just not pushing the ball down the field I feel and not pushing it to players they should um, they did push it to Kenny Galladay which I you know is actually pretty nice but I feel like they didn't try enough trying to get to Stefan Diggs um, this bill team has a really beastly uh, secondary so our secondary receiving core I'm not sure why they didn't go to him um, wide receiver training boost for the coach and then some upgrades here and then we're going to close this episode out Pat Fryermuth goes up to an 82 overall 
medium route running awareness. I think there was a break tackle in there as well, so that's pretty nice. Tata Pharrell. I changed his face because, like, I'm tired of looking at that same face that he had. Plus two carrying and acceleration and change of direction, so that's pretty nice. Spin move. I don't really use spin moves, but maybe we'll see. Our first round pick, Larry Blackburn, uh, has played somewhat sparingly, but I kind of want to start getting him onto the field a little bit more. And that might have to come at the expense of Chase Winovich, who's actually having a good season. So it's sort of a tough thing to do. And then Kadarius Tony, another upgrade for him. He goes owes up to an 81 overall. Plus one catching, jumping, release, and spec catch. So I think that's a pretty good upgrade. We might start focusing on that one a little bit more. And for whatever reason, it keeps changing his superstar ability. It was back to Recuperator which I was almost positive I didn't have it on. I'm pretty sure last time we came through and did all this, I'm almost positive that we had it on, um, not Matchup I can't remember if it was Matchup Nightmare. I don't think it was Route Apprentice. I'm pretty sure it was Route Tactician. Um, so I'm pretty sure we had him on that. So next game, we're going to be taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Who are having a tough go at it. They sit at 2-6 and six on the season. Zach Wilson looks like he's having sort of a so-so season. It looks like they haven't been able to really protect him as he has a broken hand. He's going to be out for four weeks. That means we're going to be taking on either Nick Mullen or Jacoby Brissett as the Bill, or not the Bills, as the Steelers. Uh, losing their quarterback here for a bit of time. And yeah, sitting at 2-6. and six. Team that knocked us out of the playoffs last season. So maybe going to come back here, get some revenge. So if you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one, and thanks for watching. Peace.